Hey guys, it's Lonnie coming at you from the Justice Appalachian Homestead. Uh, with that question that everybody seems to be asking, but nobody seems to be able to answer. Where are all those children at? Now, to correct the record from my earlier video, the last information that I had on the subject, they said it was about 2,000 kids. Uh, but uh, I've come across some newer information. They're saying that it's about 1,200 now, which is still a lot of kids. But, you know, as a parent, man, I have to tell you, my boy, he's 27 now, but when he's about three, we had a health scare, and I thought we were going to lose him. And I'm telling you, I never felt so hopeless. But uh, it turned out it was just a bad doctor, a bad diagnosis, and everything's fine. But damn, my hair was falling out, man. Where are the parents that you would think would be walked through a web reporting this? Are they gone too? Now, in one of the earlier clips of one of my first videos on the subject, there was a woman describing how she saw vehicles full of families with kids in the back seat, parents in the front seat, burnt to a crisp. Man, I find that highly suspect. Uh, and then there's that bit that I picked up on a few times about 15 or 16 school buses missing. I finally found the footage. So without saying too much on the subject, I'd rather you guys see it. And we'll just go on from that clip. What's eerie about that footage is when you look at the burn line and how with almost surgical precision, those areas were just roasted. Now I've looked at over hours of footage on that and I can't find anywhere where I could see anything that resembles a burnt out school bus. Now, I did see some footage where somebody alleges that they have, you know, on video a stream of school buses leaving Lahaina. I can't confirm that that's exactly what I'm looking at, so I didn't want to share that in the video. But where the hell are they, man? You know? I mean, when you look at those unaccompanied minors coming across the southern border, I could see how those adrenochrome drinking organ harvesting pedophile global elites may be snatching them up and trafficking trafficking them for whatever purpose but where are these people i don't see any parents or at least not a whole lot of them or as many as you'd think anyway in a in terror in panic asking where are my kids Take a look at this guy. I believe his name is Eric from Hawaii Real Estate. 
He's done more for Hawaii than anybody else, and he just got fired for raising money for these people. Where are the children? Where are the children? Where are the children? And I mean that in every way. Are they alive? Are they not alive? What happened to them? Are you a parent that is missing a child? A lot of things are not adding up right now when it comes to the children. They're just not adding up. And I don't know what the answer is, but if you just think about it logically, is there, there's a thousand missing people. Let's just say a third or a quarter are children under the age of 18. Let's just say it's, let's just, let's just be conservative. Let's just say it's a hundred children just being conservative that are missing. Wouldn't you expect then at least 50 or 60 parents that are crying out in the streets, that are posting on social media, that are, that are frantically searching for their children, that are making a big huff and a puff and just incredibly upset and just out of their mind. I'm not seeing those posts. I'm not seeing those stories. So help me. If you are someone that's on Maui that is missing a child or you know your child perished, we need to, the world wants to hear from you. We need to find, this is to me the point of the spear. This is the most important pressing question that needs to be answered right now. There's all kinds of rumors about the, by the way, the police chief said that there was one body recovered from the ocean. I had people in my home yesterday that showed me pictures on their iPhone that I didn't want to see that were pictures of dead bodies in the ocean. I saw them with my own eyes. I'm not the police chief. I'm not anywhere close to this investigation or that I was in that town two days later when everything appeared to be cleaned up. The streets were already cleaned up. I'm just saying, I've seen pictures of people that were in the ocean. So regardless of, of well, I just feel like the government needs to come forth right now and be transparent with what they know and quell the rumors. And it just doesn't make logical sense. When the dust settles, I believe that this they're going to find out you are those you naysayers out there who believe that this was a completely natural climate change uh, event is going to be worse than 9-11. What makes 9-11 different, interestingly enough, that for one, I do believe it was kind of an inside job. I mean, come on, I believe that was completely preventable. And I, I, I'll never forget the day when. I was working third shift and my wife woke me up and said we were under attack and I woke up and I'm watching people jump to their death out of a building and I didn't know what the hell was going on and I, I tell you I, I just it, it gives me chills to this day because I'll never forget it but you see 9-11 brought us together as a nation for at least a little while but right now with the uh, Great Reset and Agenda 2030 you know when we're supposed to by then own nothing and be completely happy they want to keep us divided they want us scared they want us confused they want us at each other's throat they want the confusion this is what they need because it's a distraction and they're doing it at the expense of the lives of over a thousand children they don't care these kids were at home where they should have been safe there were elected officials who had a process there were there were safeguards that they had implemented and they failed miserably on every level i mean even the mayor the governor they don't know who was in charge that was their words that's not me don't believe me if you haven't heard it it's important that you know that you know that you know which means you're going to have to do your own research if it means that much to you no who was it that said trust but verify man these numbers are so wildly misreported uh even some news stations are starting to get a little more accurate like these guys. 33, we're tracking new developments regarding West Maui schools. Now, here are the latest stats from the Department of Education. Before the fire, there were 3,001 students enrolled in that area. Since then, 778 have re-enrolled in other schools. 874 have signed up for distance learning. 129 are now enrolled in charter or independent schools. 12 have withdrawn. Now, that leaves about 1,200 students that the DOE is actively trying to contact. So they estimate about 1,200. And when you go back to look 
at how many of those long school buses versus short school buses that vanished in thin air when you look at how many kids they can carry in total on X amount of buses. It seems to be right around that number. Were they bust out of there? Where did they go? God forbid they aren't ash. There's something wrong here. You have to see that. And uh, before I end this video, I do have one more guy I want to share with you that points out another one of those anomalies. And there's a lot of them going on in Maui right now, man. Hopefully, heads roll. But let's hear what he has to say. What I read this morning was truly shocking. This is literally probably going to go down as one of the worst natural disasters on American soil. But also really one of the greatest mysteries. And it needs to get solved and it needs to get solved now. I, let, take a look at this. Okay, this is the Hawaii News Now website. And if you look at the date, it is August 22nd. They're talking about the missing people and getting an updated list. But look at this, look at this. It says, I'll zoom in. The list also includes no identified minors, even though children are among the victims. So of the updated list of 1,054 people, none of them are children. What? What, what, what the hell is that? So they have a list, an updated list from two days ago of, of 1,054 uh, unidentified or unconfirmed people and none of them are minors? None of them are children? That makes zero sense. The FBI is compiling the list? Yeah, they're reputable. Um, I just don't understand what is going on. I don't understand what the delay is. I don't understand what the, I, what, this is insanity and it's still not being reported. I just got off the phone with someone that didn't even know Maui. They thought Maui was a city. <sighs> I mean, do you, you see that movie, uh, that show Stranger Things? The, what is it called? The Upside Down World? This is literally like, the, what is going on? It's like the Twilight Zone. This cup, it says, so I think it's backwards, but it says better things are coming. At this point, I'm not so sure, but we need to get the word out. This is, I don't, I don't understand. Where are the children? So keep in mind, people. While uh, they're keeping us divided against our neighbor, while they're telling us lies about racism and white supremacy, how they have you divided against your neighbor over what they may be thinking about you, uh, chasing that straw man, when right here in plain sight, we may have just witnessed a genocide. We may have just witnessed the extinction of a race of indigenous people. And why? So BlackRock can build a smart city that's progress for you isn't it that's about all i could stomach for one day making videos on this subject there's just so much there that i just wanted to share as you can see i'm keeping the commercials off on these videos i'm not trying to prop it up this i'm just putting out some information and again if you want to believe me you can if you don't that's fine too in the meantime people wake up question everything don't trust the authorities don't trust the process stay out of trouble keep your head on a swivel and we'll holler at you later